on the plains of Alabama. It's the University of Georgia versus Auburn University in a big Southeastern Conference game, maybe for the championship. Georgia has a record of 9-0. They're 5-0 in the SEC. Auburn 7-2 overall, 3-1 in the SEC, still with a chance at the title. Today's weather, perfect, 55 degrees, a little bit of wind, 38% humidity. There is no chance of rain. From Jordan-Harris Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. Back neat, number 23 is Keith Montgomery. Number 36 is Carney Norris on the far side. This game is about to get underway, and here comes Del Greco. Norris at the one-yard line. Carney Norris at the 20 and drop at the 20-yard line. Taking a look at the Georgia backfield, John Lastinger at quarterback, Chris McCarthy gets the nod at fullback, Herschel Walker at tailback. Wisham, Jones, and Brown are the Bulldog receivers. And that interior line, Harper, Weaver, Radloff, Brown, and McIntyre at the 20. They give it to McCarthy, the fullback. He's got four yards to the 24. That Auburn defense looks this way. Riley, Blackard, Altman, Thomas, and Williams at front line. The linebackers, Greg Carr, Chris Martin. The secondary, King, Drinkard, Harris, and Collier. Or on second down and six from the 24-yard line. Chuck Jones in motion to the near side, and they give it to the fullback, McCarthy, again. And he's got the first down. Third down and less than a yard. John Lastinger, he's thrown seven touchdowns. They give it to Walker, and he's airborne and may not have made it. He may have been stopped short. Early in the game, Walker at tailback. McCarthy's in front of him. John Lastinger, and he gets a yard. A yard to the 32. They've been giving up 147 yards in the rush, but that's uh, lower than Walker's average. Now they give to Herschel, and he's hit pretty hard at the 36 and knocked back. Rick Carr, third down and five. Important third down situation already. John Lastinger is looking for Simmons. He's got him at the 36 and the 40 and the 41-yard line and maybe enough for the first down. 12 minutes left here in the first quarter. Georgia now at the 42-yard line. McCarthy, the fullback, in motion. They pitch it out to Walker on the sweep. Walker's at the 45. Walker's still up at the 49 and knocked out of bounds. Dogs now looking at a second down and about three, and they give to McCarthy, and he is close to another first down. Chris Martin, the linebacker. All right, now remember this drive started on the Georgia 20-yard line. It has now gone past the 50. Here's the pass out to Simmons, and he is still up and down at the 31-yard line. More of a gap to get through. First and 10, Georgia at the 31. And they give to Walker, and he plows over a couple of people down to the 27. Second down and six for the Dogs. They are now at the 27-yard line. Pitch out to Walker. Herschel's got a hole, and he's at the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. So that time, he was able to free himself with the cut. Five first downs for Georgia. Now they bring this fullback in motion back to the near side and give it to Herschel. Herschel out of bounds. It is second down and eight. Herschel, 26 yards, six carries for the day. Georgia driving from their own 20. Have now moved down deep into Auburn territory. Herschel Walker inside the 15. A marker down on the play is stop. Face mask. All right, it is first and goal at the eight-yard line. They gave to McCarthy the fullback. First man through in that I formation. He's... Yeah, McCarthy, down. McCarthy's in the slot again. Rather second down, and they pitch to Walker. Herschel Walker trying to turn the corner, and he's knocked out of bounds at the three. Three from the three-yard line. George is driven from the 20. Walker stopped at the line of scrimmage. Maybe fell ahead for a yard. They'll mark it down at the nine-yard line. This will be a 19-yard attempt by Butler. And the sophomore kicks it up, and he kicks it good. And with eight minutes and five seconds left in the first quarter, Georgia has taken a lead, 3-0 over Auburn.
Georgia leading Auburn, three nothing in the first quarter. Just over four minutes left in this opening period. Auburn now first and ten at their own 20 yard line. O'Neill is the fullback in that wishbone. Bo Jackson, Lionel James, the halfbacks. Randy Campbell calling the signals. Campbell with the football, and he is dropped behind the line of scrimmage by Will Fortson. It looks like they're prepared against the wishbone attack. They've played it exceptionally well thus far. Second down and about 16 yards to go. Campbell just a straight drop now, and he's got his man, Ed West, and out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Auburn's rushing attack, by the way, has uh, a net of minus four yards here early in the game. Campbell looking over the middle. He's got his man at the 31-yard line. It'll be close to a first down. Now two minutes and 53 seconds left first period. The give to Jackson. Jackson a couple of yards before Kevin Jackson makes the stop on him. Two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Second down and about eight yards to go. They give to Ron O'Neill and he's open at the 50. Ron O'Neill down to the 42-yard line. Five foot nine, 250. Campbell now on the option he's gonna keep. Campbell out of bounds around the 31 yard line. First and 10, Auburn at the Georgia 31 yard line. Campbell looking for Woods. He's got him at the 12 yard line and locked out of bounds at the nine. Sanchez, score place to do it now from the nine. O'Neal. O'Neal to the six. Second down and six. Bo Jackson to the three. Big play. Campbell on the keeper. It's a foot race. Campbell gets in for the touchdown. Randy Campbell goes three yards on the bootleg for the touchdown. Ready to kick it. And it's good. Auburn goes ahead of Georgia, seven to three with six seconds left in the first quarter. It is Keith Montgomery and Carney Norris back deep for Georgia. Montgomery, five yards in. Carney Norris says, hold it right there. First and 10, Georgia, six seconds left, and they give it to Chris McCarthy. Chris McCarthy at the 30. Chris McCarthy, 40. Chris McCarthy down at the 47-yard line by Drinker. And that's the end of the first quarter. Georgia lead, uh, that is Auburn, leading Georgia by the score of seven to three. at the 47 yard line. Herschel Walker, midfield, just over it to the 49 yard line of Auburn. Pretty good runner, two. Second down and seven. There's the pitch to Walker, and he's gotta get a couple of yards. Another big third down play. They give to Walker. Herschel's got the first down at the 40. Herschel 30. Herschel 20. Walker's got to go. Walker's gone. <laughs> 47 yards. Herschel Walker is gone. Here's 47 yards. The kick is up by Butler. The kick is good. And with 14 minutes, 10 seconds left, Georgia has taken the lead. Georgia leading Auburn as we take a second look at Herschel's 47-yarder. Dogs on top by the score of 10-7. When he broke, when he had good offensive line blocking, he broke a tackle, he breaks that one, and then he outruns the secondary to the end. Once he sees daylight, he will not be denied. First and 10, Auburn at the 23. Randy Campbell pitches out to Bo Jackson. He's tripped up by Anthony Flack. Pratt is now the fullback for Auburn. 
Here's Campbell's pass, incomplete, just overthrown, intended for number 85, Ed West. They've only had one interception this year. Campbell has good judgment. They have good, safe routes. Little movement on the Auburn line. Flags go down, and Bo Jackson carries. That'll bring up a fourth down, and Jimmy Harrell is called. He seems to find the gap every time and move the ball down the field. Colbert kicking against the stiff breeze. Jimmy Harrell calling for the fair catch. Good punt. Barry Young's in it fullback. Lastinger still the quarterback. They give off to Barry Young, and Young has got three or four yards across the 35, making the stop. Going to be a face mask, just stressing the points that have to be made for the wishbone to be stopped. Second down and two, and the handoff goes to Barry Young, the fullback. He's got the first down. Eating 10-7 on Auburn, nine minutes and 40 seconds left in the half. Lastinger. Pitches out to Carney Norris. Carney Norris trying to turn the corner. Gets three or four yards. See, they've had all year long. They're tough to play against. Jimmy Payne not in this football game uh, yet. Of course, he's a big defensive star for the Dogs. Now they need two yards for the first down. Third down and a couple. Lastinger pitches to Carney Norris. He has stopped short. Stop. Lionel James is back around his own 10 yard line ready to see Broadway's punt and he calls for the fair catch which is what Broadway intends for him to do. Here we go big third down play. Campbell on the keeper short of the first down I believe. They throw the ball better than any wishbone team I've seen in quite a while. They give it to Lionel James. He's across the 30 up to the 31-yard line. Second down and eight yards to go for Auburn. Another long count by Campbell. Now he gives to Bo Jackson. 5.03 left in the first half. Jackson fumble. Jackson fumbles. Georgia has recovered the football. Jeff Sanchez. Joshua Walker back in the football game now. Chris McCarthy in motion. They'll run the sweep. Walker, 40-yard line, trying to get to the corner. Knocked out of bounds at the 35. Second and four. Dogs now, after that turnover, trying to capitalize on it. They give it to Walker up the middle. They have two fullbacks in on third down and two. Lastinger looking and throws it. It's incomplete. Georgia will try a long field goal, a 50-yard attempt by Kevin Butler. He's got a little bit of wind behind him now, not as strong as it was before. He kicks it up, and it is good. Butler has struck from 50 yards out. Butler a 50-yarder, and now with three minutes and 56 seconds left in the half, Georgia goes on top of Auburn, 13 to 7. 44 seconds are left in the half, and Georgia leading Auburn, 13 to 7, third and seven. Georgia wants their hands on the ball one more time before intermission. Campbell gives it off to his fullback, Ron O'Neill, and he stumbles up to the 43. That's the replay of O'Neill. Now Campbell drops back. Randy Campbell, he will keep the football, and he's hit and dropped at the 46-yard line with 17 seconds left. Auburn brings the football up and spreads them out. Auburn into a spread now. Look at this offense. Could be thro a throwback and a deep pass from number 10. It is. He throws it up for grabs. Let's see, it is bounced up and almost caught by Bo Jackson, but incomplete. Six seconds left, third down and seven. Auburn's in that spread again. The pitch out to Washington. Now Washington's going to keep and try to pitch it, actually, to Bo Jackson. And it was pitched out of bounds, and the clock has run out. And with the first half coming to an end, Georgia leads Auburn by the score of 13 to 7. Georgia leading Auburn 13 to 7 after the third quarter kickoff. Auburn has run a play for a couple of yards, and now it is the second down and 
Seven yards to go for the Auburn Tigers at their own 24-yard line. Randy Campbell fakes the quick pitch and takes it up across the 30-yard line for a first down. Right here it is first and 10 Auburn at the 31-yard line. Randy Campbell still has the football and Campbell gets a couple of yards while closer to the 34-yard line. From the wishbone. Campbell got his man open and it's caught at the 48-yard line. They have moved it nearly to midfield. Randy Campbell looking, wants to go over the middle and it is overthrown around the 20-yard line. It is second down and 10. Auburn at its own 49. Randy Campbell. Big third down play here, early third quarter. Campbell back to pass. He's got his man up the 32 yard line. First and 10, Auburn. They are at the 33 yard line. And the handoff to Lionel James. Number six, Lionel James. Second and eight. Randy Campbell. Over the middle, and it is intercepted by Sanchez. Jeff Sanchez intercepted the 17 yard line. That is his ninth interception of the season. First and 10, Georgia now. Herschel Walker to the 24 yard line. Herschel Walker 111 yards now and 18 carries. The give to Walker. Herschel Walker at the 30 and dropped at the 32 or 3. They put the fullback in motion and bring Herschel on the sweep. Herschel stopped for a yard loss. Markers on the play. We'll show the clip. Il illegal block below the knees, putting you in a first and 20 situation. Herschel Walker in motion and they give to the fullback. McCarthy out to the 20-yard line. Second down and long. They give to Herschel Walker. Walker 30. Herschel Walker to the 34-yard line. Stopped the Auburn drive with the interception, and now the dogs need to be successful on this possession. Lastinger looking. Now he's in trouble and run out of bounds. Back at his 26-yard line. Broadway, a good high spiral. James drifts back, fair catch at the 18-yard line. Georgia leading Auburn, 13 to seven, with 3:26 left in the third quarter. Auburn now, after a punt, has the football at its own 27-yard line, and Auburn now looking to get a drive started here from their own 27-yard line with 3:26 left, and the handoff goes to Greg Pratt, the fullback. 250 left in this third quarter as they put one of the halfbacks in motion. Randy Campbell throws out complete. That's Willie Howell, and he's knocked down. You know, it's amazing. They're basically a one quarterback team running the wishbone, which is something that is pretty hard on quarterbacks. Look at this shovel pass, and it is stopped by Georgia. Yard line. Fourth and 12, Carver back to punt. Harold's deep for Georgia. Jimmy Harrell takes it on the run. Jimmy Harrell at the 50 and down to the Auburn 47. At the Auburn 47-yard line with a minute 22 left in the third quarter. Lastinger drops the football and recovers it right at midfield. Second down and 13 yards to go. Pitch out to Herschel Walker. Herschel is crowded and knocked down at the 47. Less than 20 seconds left third quarter. Third and 10. Lastinger drops it over to Walker at the 43 and he's dropped at that point. And that's the end of the third quarter with Georgia leading Auburn by the score of 13 to seven. He will try and squib it out, kick it out somewhere inside the 10 if at all possible. And let's see if he has the success with it. Georgia has down the football. 
Look on in there at Randy Campbell. He's the commander in that wishbone offense. They pitch it out to Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson still up and across the 10 and out to the 13-yard line. Auburn, remember now, has turned it over twice. Georgia has not turned over the football yet. Second down and about three. The pitch out to James. First down and more. John uh, James is in the open field. He will go all the way. Just a great run by James. Lionel James has gone all the way for the touchdown. kick is good and Auburn has gone on top of Georgia 14 to 13 after James went 87 yards Carney Norris and Keith Montgomery back deep for Georgia Del Greco kicks it to Norris and out of the end zone ranked number one in the country things look bad now we're going to see how they cooperate see how they come back Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker trying to turn the corner and is at the 30 and the 31 and knocked out. Walker on the play. That's costly in that situation. Well, it's going to give Georgia the football. I guess the officials think he's strong enough to take that kind of abuse. 73,000 here at Jordan Hare Stadium, Auburn, Alabama. Chris McCarthy gets three yards. Exactly the kind of game we thought it would. Two rivals, both excellent football teams, and they're gonna play hard today. Herschel Walker across midfield down to the 49-yard line. Now they're standing. Big play, third down and five. Archie in motion. They give it to Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker, first down, Georgia play is designed to 15, 20 percent. Well, a lot of the plays are designed to let him pick a hole. First and 10, Georgia, they give to the full back. Uh, and trailing by a point. Herschel Walker. Walker gets to the corner, knocked out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Herschel Walker. They fake it to Walker. Lastinger looking. He's got Herman Archie at the 22-yard line. Oh, what a big play that was. He's a tight quarterback can, that can do it all. He can drop back and throw, run the option, and do a lot of things for Georgia. First and 10 at the 22. And they get to Herschel. Herschel picks his hole and goes to the 16-yard line. He is number four on the all-time NCAA rushing list. Here we are. They give to the fullback, McCarthy, and he is across the 15-yard line. They stretch it out. It is short. Walker, airborne, first down. Walker to the 11-yard line. We are now under 10 minutes left in this football game. Georgia trailing 14-13. Chris McCarthy carries the football down to the 7. Georgia on the 7. Pitch to Walker. Walker cutting back inside the five down to the three. Third down and two. And Georgia can pick up the first down without scoring a touchdown. They give it to Walker. Walker slides touchdown. in, touchdown! Walker goes all the way three yards for the touchdown, or four yards. Make that four yards by Walker for the score. 4,958 yards. Two-point conversion. Lastinger looking. He's got a man in the end zone. Overthrows him. Overthrew his man, and Georgia will hang on to that lead of 19 to 14 with eight minutes and 42 seconds left. Dogs missed the two-point conversion and lead 19-14. Butler's kick to James at the goal line. Now three, four yards back, and he'll down it there. First and 10, Auburn at its own 20, trailing by five. Campbell pitches out to James. That looked a lot like the 87-yarder. Behind the offensive lineman where the defense might not see him. That's a good point. Second down and six. Bo Jackson 
Bo Jackson stopped short of the first down by Tommy Thurston. Where'd you hand to win the Southeastern Conference Championship? Big play, third down and one. Seven minutes, 30 seconds left in this game. Randy Campbell gets the first down. Campbell now 44 yards on 18 carries. From the wishbone. He pulls it out. Campbell has the football and out of bounds at the 40. Second and less than a yard now. Campbell. Ron O'Neill's the fullback, but Campbell sneaks it up again. This is an important possession for Auburn. They want to hold on to the football. They give it to Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. Parker on the play on the field has come right back with a drive of its own. Auburn looking at a clock that says 624 left in the game. Campbell. Campbell caught by Stan Dooley at the 39-yard line. Next to go and the clock ticks away. 544 left in this game. Auburn trailing. They give it to O'Neill, the fullback. This is the biggest play of the afternoon for Auburn. Georgia leading 19 to 14. They move out of the wishbone. Here's the pass over the middle, complete at the 24 for a first down. Good football game. Four minutes, 34 seconds left. Auburn on the drive. Campbell, a couple of yards. That dive. Watching from his side of the field. Second down and nine yards to go. Bo Jackson across the 20 to the 18-yard line. Campbell, the quarterback, they set up that wishbone attack. Campbell pitches to Lionel James. He cuts back, and he is close to the first down. First down, Auburn. Three minutes and seven seconds left in this football game. Not in the wishbone now. They give it to O'Neill. There's a marker on the play as O'Neill is down to the 10 yard line. Yes, illegal motion. Pitch out to Bo Jackson. He's stopped by Flack at the 21 yard line. Out of the wishbone. And Dale Carver drops. Campbell at the 31 yard line. They're in the wishbone with O'Neill at fullback, Jackson and James at the halfbacks. James in motion. Third down. Pass is complete to number 85, Ed West, but he stumbles and falls at the 20 yard line. Neither one of them can be really disappointed. They've both played outstanding. Fourth and 17. Campbell is the quarterback. Rush on, he unloads, and it is incomplete lockdown. Ronnie Harris was there, Jeff Sanchez was there, and Auburn has been stopped. Georgia takes over at the 20-yard line. 42 seconds left. Georgia 19 to 14, Lastinger just falls on the football. Georgia with the football now with very little time on the clock. Second down and 12, and Lastinger falls on it. The clock ticks away. Dooley's already on his player's shoulders. This is his third SEC championship. Third in a row, that is, for Vince Dooley. The clock runs out, and Georgia has won this football game. Dogs beat Auburn 19 to 14 to win their third straight Southeastern Conference title. Dooley walks off the field. Georgia 19, Auburn 14. Georgia goes to the Sugar Bowl for the third straight year.